Welcome back. I've, we're going to give you some, you kids something to play with while I'm gone. I have to go to center stage. Roy, there's your etch a sketch. Tommy, there's yours. Dan, there's yours. Do something creative. You know how to work these? Oh, yeah. All right, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, listen to our next guest. This is not just a toy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a canvas. He is a true artist on the, on the etch a sketch. A big welcome, please, for Michael Angelo Vidal, Jr. Michael. I'm pretty impressed by what I see before me. Um, le let's start with mine, though. I, <laughs> did you see the one I did originally before it got screwed up by somebody on the step? Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, that's, that's Abraham Lincoln. What do you think? I think. Uh, yeah, I know what you uh, think, yeah. Michael. All right, <laughs> and I'll just put that down. Now, let's. I understand you're working. You, you've been working on a portrait of me. Yes, I have. As what a matter you? of fact, where is it? It's uh, right here. Okay, be careful. <laughs> well, I mean, no, I mean, I guess you you're know. Asking to be me? Yeah. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, may, may we show that? I'll put it right up front. I'm a little nervous handling this. I don't want to screw it up. Wow, that's that's great. Now, am I easy to do or difficult to do? You've got one of the... This portrait and stuff took me about uh, 12 hours, and it uh, you're not a very easy person to draw. You're very simple to draw, as a matter of fact. But, I mean... It, there's, you have simple, you've got nothing protruding on you. I mean, you just have I have like, nothing protruding on me. Well, well. in other words, like, uh, like uh, if I drew you too thin, you'd look like John Davidson. Uh -huh. If I drew you too fat, you'd look like Marlon Brando. As a matter of fact, I tried all I could to put some kind of character in you. I mean, uh, uh, Boy, your well, hair You're not the first, as a matter. All right, I'm going to remove this now and talk about what, what's, what are some of these we have up here? What's the most intricate one we have, the one that you're the proudest of, of this collection here? Okay, just jousting right here is... Um, you have a dragon, which was, at the beginning was a horse, and I changed him into a Look dragon. Now, but but isn't this scales. all, I mean, if I were just to bang into this... It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Now, it's isn't there a way you could, like, drain the stuff out of there? So you sure can... you can, but uh, then you get no respect for it. I, now, how did you get these here? Uh, very carefully. No, oh, I know that, but... <laughs> so you stick them in your car, and what, don't go over the there, canyons? Uh, exactly, and, and it does take a little bit to... to how long to, would it take, uh, for example, to do... This is about 25 to 30 hours. Now, how, look at the... Look at the... What do you think of what Stan... Oh. Looks like the CBS Eye or... Or a man in a moon or something yeah. like a spaceship. <laughs> Hard to tell. Well, they'll, they'll continue to work. Now, let's talk about a couple of others. Uh, this is... This, this is, is buildings, and this is a very easy one to draw because this it's... Sure. Even as complicated and difficult as it may seem, it, it's just straight lines. Now, how long ago did you do this one, for example? This one was done in uh, 1975. Wow. So yeah. they will last a long time, depends yeah. on how, how careful you How did you get interested are. in this at all? Um, We've all played in high them. school, I started drawing with these things, and I and I was already I felt I was already a very good artist. And what had happened was that uh, I couldn't do anything with these things. These were really hard for me to draw. And uh, then in high school, I started taking notes, and I started drawing. I drew the back of my teacher in the class, and <laughs> it's funny. Most of them would wait till I'm done with the picture and before they end up taking it away. Now here we have some wildlife, huh? Yes, the oh. leopards. This one, the spots are, are separated. Oh, that's they're separated from the whole leopard. Now, uh, that looks... How do you do that? How do you get the thing to move over without making a line between one spot? Yeah, not to ask the only too way technical I can, an etch sketch The question. only way I can, I can describe this is if you're putting a horizontal... Let's say, for instance, you have a dusty table. You put a horizontal line yeah. on, on your dusty table, and then you put a vertical line completely across it. You separate two lines. Oh, I see. I see. Boy, so yeah, it's really... Uh, what do you, how do you actually make a living? Uh, uh, do you ever sell these? I sell them from time to time. Yeah. They go from two hundred to $5,000. Mm. And... Um, uh, Do you have a profession beyond uh, this? Yes, I'm a carpenter about? welder. Oh, okay. And I, I, I work for uh, Super Freeze, as a matter of fact, oh, well, international make walking well, I'm freezers. sure they're happy to hear that. Now yes, let's they are. let's look at a, let's look at a couple others while we we're race. while we're here. What do we? Now uh, this is the Beatles, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr. Oh, that's right. Now, yeah, and how and how long to do that? Would you? This say? is about a 15-hour. Uh, uh, sketch here. This one here, there was supposed to be other sailors involved in here with their lances and uh, well, what would happen is that the, the needle broke on this one, I so see. I couldn't continue it. I see. It's hard to repair an Etch-a-Sketch, I guess, once you're in mid-drawing. Uh, mid I didn't want to destroy it. There's it an Etch-a-Sketch repair shop right down the street here that you might not <laughs> <laughs> Now, this, uh, this is a fascinating uh, character here. It's uh, scales. Yeah. It's an iguana. Mm -hmm. And I had a iguana, so I drew him. All right. Uh, and uh, here's a, another uh, animal. Desert diamonds. You like to do animals? Pretty much anything. Yeah. Portraits, people, anything. And, uh, and speaking of people, we'll take a look at one more here because uh, these Star are Wars. these are some familiar-looking folks. We'll get a shot of that. Yeah. Wow. 
now. Darth Vader. Great. Now, are you working on anything now, or? I'm working on a $1 bill. I got about 10 cents of it done. It takes about 40. Are you 40. serious? Yes, I am. It takes about, it took me about 40, 50 hours on it, and I haven't completed it yet. Okay. So I figured it'll take me about 1,000 hours. And if you had some accidental erasures over the years? That's the end of it. Oh, yeah, I would, That's I would totally. As a matter of fact, when I was working on your picture, I've done four etchy sketches and the one I really wanted to bring here, you know, the one that got away, yeah. um, fell over the side. Uh, probably Denzi knocked it over. It's okay. Uh, listen, uh, it's, it's great stuff. We're going to take a break, and we'll take a quick look at our, our artists here and see what you think about it when we come back. Thanks, okay. uh, Michael, very much. After sketch artist Michael Vidal Jr. Okay, Michael, what do you think? There's Roy's. Hmm. Uh, you, know, you know what this is? It's either the state of Idaho or a birth control device. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's pretty, what do you think? Pretty bad? It's abstract, yeah. Right. Abstract, yeah, that's yeah. a good word. Okay, uh, no, I'm impressed by this. Look at Robert Carradine here. That's good. Great. Great. Oh, what is my hand? Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. You're an expert. I had no idea. A man of many talents. Daughter sitting backstage. Oh, my so daughter, and she said, "Dad, you remember that boat you drew me on the Etch a Sketch?" Oh, I said, there you "Yeah." Go. See, there you go. A rude awakening's the film. Thanks very much for being here, <laughs> okay, Robert. Appreciate it, Dan. Uh, oh, oh, CBS. always kissing up, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Very quickly. CBS. Uh, well, uh, great. We got circles. All right. Fantastic. Well, there you go. Thanks, gang. Appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Accommodations for some of Pat's guests furnished by the Century Plaza Hotel and Tower, LA's business address in Century City.